What's up everybody, Michael Silva here. Today's video is extremely important, so I want you to pay very close attention to the charts that I'm gonna be showing you. Yesterday's video, we talked about the S&P 500 and the rising wedge, and we compared it to the VIX. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the S&P 500 index. We're gonna be looking at the VIX again. We're also gonna bring in the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ 100. My plan is to show you some charts that are very, very concerning to me. My goal here is not to scare you, but it is to prepare you. Scare, prepare. I didn't mean to make that rhyme. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back. We are looking at the S&P 500 on the daily time frame. I'm going to really quickly recap what took place today, and then we're going to go into the VIX to just take a look at that falling wedge pattern that we mapped out yesterday. The difference between this video and any other video that I recorded is that I'm gonna be bringing in the Dow Jones as well as the NASDAQ into this complete market recap video. And I wanna point out a lot of things that are very, very concerning on these various charts. As the S&P 500 tries to reach for its all-time high, and the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ 100 has exceeded past its all-time record high. So it looks like the S&P 500 and the Dow are going to be making it there too. However, there's some very, very worrisome type patterns that are taking place. And that is what we're going to go through. So without further ado, let's just hop into it. Now, today's price action didn't do much. We did not reach the all-time record high. We created somewhat more of another indecision type candle, just with a little bit bigger of a body. Now, this big red bearish candle on this specific day, if we zoom in, this one right here was a cause for concern. And we were stating in that video when we made it that, hey, is this some sort of trouble in paradise? And since that point, we had a good green day after that and then just two really undecided type days. It looks like the market's trying to roll itself over slowly but surely as the last three days have made lower highs. Now, I wouldn't read too much into this. This can still extend higher into this rising wedge pattern and eventually break. So we're gonna have to keep a close eye on this one. Let's go to the VIX chart just to see how the VIX is responding to today's price action as well. All right, so we are over here looking at the VIX. This is the volatility of the S&P 500 index. And really what I wanna kind of wrap every everyone's head around is will history repeat itself? And the reason why I'm saying will history repeat itself is because we're going to be looking at repetitive patterns that happened on the NDX, the VIX, and the Dow Jones, and ultimately try to come to the conclusion, is history about to repeat itself again? Now, if you're unfamiliar with what the VIX is, this is a volatility index. So when it goes up high, typically how the stock market responds or the S&P 500, you'll see dramatic pull down. So right here where we saw this huge spike up, that was when the market took a nosedive in February. And then we had it go into this pattern right here, this falling wedge pattern, which is a bullish type of pattern. And then it broke through, which caused ultimately a big down day, couple days in the S&P 500 index. So what do we have going on right now? Well, we have another falling wedge, which is, once again, bullish. So if we get a break above this, we might see another spike to that 43 level and even potentially higher. Now, somebody had pointed out, well, there's a gap. Doesn't gaps get filled? Yes, absolutely. Gaps do typically get filled on the VIX chart. So when we're looking at that as far as a gap, that means we still have the ability to fall a little bit more within this pattern to close that specific gap. But after it closes this gap, or if it closes this gap, we might see the push up higher, which can cause some very, very high volatility in the S&P 500. Now on today's price action of this falling wedge pattern, it created somewhat of an inverted hammer right here. So it does look like Potentially, it wants to pull back further, but we'd have to see it really kind of close below 2140 right there just to see if it will continue to the downside. If it does, that would probably indicate that the stock market is going to be reaching its all-time high. But even if it does do that and continues to move a little bit higher, it's still within that rising wedge bearish type pattern. Okay, so will history repeat itself with this VIX? I guess we'll see here in the near future. Let's go ahead and go to the NASDAQ 100 chart before we get into the Dow. The Dow Jones will probably blow your mind, but the NASDAQ 100 chart to look at that repeating pattern. All right, so we are here on the daily time frame for the NASDAQ 100. Now I've done a video more in depth on the NASDAQ 100, and I'll put the link in the description below. Or I'll link it up here so you can see it if you want to watch it. But really what I was doing was showing you rising wedge patterns within the NASDAQ 100 and how similar they were and what took place 
when they broke. So as you can see back here in 2018, we had the rising wedge and when it broke through, it really climbed a little bit higher and kind of trailed along this trend line before ultimately taking a nosedive here, September of 2018, all the way down to 58, 5900, let's call it. So a big drop on this rising wedge pattern. Now in 2020, since the market recovered from the March low, we have been seeing just a monster move to the upside, reaching all-time market highs. And as you can see here, we broke down through the rising wedge pattern and we're seeing something very similar take place where it's kind of moving up this trend line just like it did in 2018. So will history repeat itself or will we see continuation to the upside? Well, we're going to have to play it day by day to watch, but these are all very strong warning signs. Let's go ahead and hop into the Dow Jones so I can show you the next pattern that is a big cause for concern. All right, so we are here at the Dow Jones Industrial Average on a monthly time frame. Now, I saw this chart done by Sven. I forget his last name. He's a trader, very popular. He goes on CNBC all the time. And when he posted the chart, I was like, I have to take a look more in depth at this to see if it holds its validity. And sure enough, it is quite scary to look at. And the reason why this is so important is because everyone has been comparing this market to the Great Depression in 1929. Now, what's so interesting about this chart is we're gonna be going back to a very similar looking pattern. As you can see here, these are known as megaphone patterns or they're big cycle type patterns. Let me go ahead and post a screenshot here so you can see where it creates its pivot points. It goes one, one, two, two, goes higher and then falls back down. If I go back to the early 1900s, what do we have going on? Well, the early 1900s, this was when the Great Depression happened in July of 1929. And as you can see, we hit one, one, two, two, went higher for three, and it expanded way above that, back tested this trend line. So this is all very important, pay attention. It back tested this trend line, bumped up a little bit higher, and then shot down to the downside which was a very, very aggressive type move. Notice how the RSI is also significantly overbought in this period of time. All right, now let's go ahead and zoom into 2020 to see how similar these charts are. All right, so we are here at the more recent megaphone pattern here in 2020, and this dates back all the way to 1998. So these are long-term charts, but they're still very valid, and look how similar it is. We have our points one, one, to two, and then we have the blow off up here at three. And then look at, we have the back test as well. This is very similar looking to 1929. Does history repeat itself with another stock market crash? Do we see it potentially go higher and then break down where it goes like this and reaching to extremely low levels? Well, time will tell. Now, will it reach all the way down to $4,700? I don't honestly no, that seems very aggressive to me, but the pattern does look extremely similar to what took place in the Great Depression. And a lot of people have been comparing this pullback to the 1929 Great Depression. And right here, as you can see, the pattern is very, very scary and it resembles it quite well. Let's go ahead and go back to the S&P 500. All right, so we are back here at the S&P 500. I went over some important patterns. We have the rising wedge, which is bearish. We have the falling wedge, which is bullish within the VIX. Same thing with the NDX. We have the rising wedges. And then we have the megaphone pattern in the Dow Jones, all a cause for concern as the S&P 500 reaches to its all-time high. This right here is also known as a double top. So will the market continue to push more to the upside and kind of ride within this rising wedge? And then will we see a pullback or will we just see a continuation to the upside. Well, time will obviously tell, but as far as I see it, be very careful on your long positions and make sure you have your stop losses if you are trading these type of market conditions. One other cause for concern on the S&P 500 is the negative divergence taking place here on the RSI. As you can see from this point right here, it was a low high to a higher high, and we have right here on the RSI, we have a high high to a lower high. Lots of bearish things taking place in the stock market as it reaches for its all-time high and as the NASDAQ 100 continues to try to break new records.
All right, everybody, that's all I have on this week's stock market analysis. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And if you see this little bubble pop up with a picture of my face and you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It is greatly appreciated and I really do appreciate that support. I will see you tomorrow for my weekly scan, the video where I go over all my stock picks and how I would go about trading them. See you then.